The United States has officially removed Uganda and three other African countries, notably the Central African Republic, Gabon and Niger, as beneficiaries of the African Growth and Opportunity Act, AGOA. The decree made by U.S. President Joe Biden on December 29, which takes effect as of January 1, 2024, will effectively end the country's ability to export certain commodities to the United States without other tax, using being that the four countries do not meet the requirements necessary to allow them to continue benefiting from the trade deal. In an October 2023 letter to the Speaker of the United States Congress expressing his intention to remove the four countries from the list of AGUA beneficiaries, Mr. Joe Biden said Uganda has engaged in gross violations of internationally recognized human rights. This came after President Yoweri Museveni assented to the anti-gay law passed by the Ugandan lawmakers, which introduced serious repercussions, including life imprisonment or death, for same-sex relations in the country. AGOA, a United States Trade Preference Act, was enacted on May 18, 2000, which provides duty-free access of over 6,000 products from beneficiary countries to the United States market, and Uganda has been a significant beneficiary of the program. In the 12 months of June 2023, Uganda's exports to the United States under AGOA amounted to $8.2 million, about 11% of its total exports to the United States in the same period reached total $70.7 million. Over 80% of Uganda's exports under AGOA were from the agricultural sector, which employs about 70% of the country's workforce, indicating that the expulsion could have a significant hit on jobs, causing a foreign exchange earning drought and low utilization of raw materials locally. Other countries in sub-Saharan Africa that have been removed from the list are Ethiopia, Guinea, Mali, Gabon, Cameroon, Burkina Faso, the Gambia, Central African Republic, Zimbabwe and Sudan. However, it remains to be seen how these African countries will preserve their integrity faced with pressures from European countries.